Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So I have already discussed this particular very popular data migration use case where we might need to send the data from S3 bucket to Snowflake table. I have discussed with talent, I have discussed with pandas because many times what might happen that you need to do some simple uh, transformation before loading the data to Snowflake table from S3. Okay, that time the best way is to uh, take the data in a pandas data frame and then we apply our transfer logic on that data frame and then we store that data frame in the particular table present in snowflake using right pandas okay but suppose you no need to do any transformation you just simply want to load the s3 data to this particular uh, table present in snowflake okay that time you no need to import pandas and the necessary connectivities with pandas okay we can directly load using pipe snow pipe one of the very powerful feature as you know so here in s3 i am having three different uh, data iris farcicolor iris virginica iris setosa i am sure that you have some idea about this particular data if you have worked in machine learning or data science or data analysis domain which is nothing but features about one particular flower set uh, that is iris flower okay Okay. It is having three different categories, Setosa, Virginica, Versicolor, which is having four different features, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Okay. So all the CSV files is having basically five columns where four columns are sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and the final one is basically the class. For each CSV file, I am storing one particular category like Iris Versicolor is having only class belonging to Iris Versicolor, Iris Virginica is having only the features about Iris Virginica, and Iris Setosa is having only information about Iris Setosa. So first four columns are double, last column is string data type, as simple as that. Now I want to send all these three files present in S3 bucket to a particular snowflake table. So what we have to do, see here, I am reading the code one by one, very important try to understand. So drop database Ramu, Ramu database we have created when we were transferring data from S3 bucket to snowflake via pandas, right? So I am dropping that using this and you can see here no Ramu database is present and I am creating one new database Ramu if not exist. Then I am using the Ramu database. Then I am creating one table, same table definition that is DDL command like used earlier, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width or all are in double and class name is in basically fair care okay as simple as that now here i can run this okay then i am creating the file format with the name my csv format type is csv file delimiter is comma separated if your csv file is having tab separated or something else please mention that accordingly skip header one because one first row is header in our csv file okay and all this basic information so i can run this particular part okay then here we need to create this stage and this is external stage so create or replace stage first database name ramu then schema is public obviously not information schema then dot snow simple this is our stage name url will be what s3 colon slash slash go to uh, s3 take the bucket name and the url will be s3 colon slash slash demo show that is s3 colon slash slash whatever bucket name you are mentioning credentials aws id aws secret key from her you will be getting so you have to create one iam user okay and you have to give full s3 permission to that user okay and then you can get the aws access key and id i hope you can easily create and then file format my csv format so i am running this okay uh, valid credential required okay sorry i have not given the credential i'll be specifying that okay so here let me specify uh, that one which i cannot show you so i have given all the aws key and access key uh, that is secret secret key now i can run this particular one and see stage is created now i can just check what are the uh, files present in that particular bucket which you have created demo so okay using this particular command just add the rate first you have to write list then add the rate then the uh, basically stage name if i just run see here id is versicolor id is virginic id is setosa coming okay right now what you have to do uh, if i want to load data from snowflake stage to a particular table we have to use this particular query copy into this is video that is basically my table name from the stage name i am mentioning and file format is 
my csv format but we will not be executing this one here we will be executing this one using our python program okay so this particular one not required you can check if you want to select start from video for the timing it is completely empty as expected so what we will be doing i will be going to terminal and i will be again showing you the uh, installation process so that you will not miss anything first check the python version because it should be among either 3.6 or 3.7 or 3.8 here i will be simply pasting that and 3.8 perfectly satisfied okay then here i have to upgrade my python uh, pip installer okay and which is requirement already su uh, successful perfect and then here what i am going to do here pip install r this particular query i am going to execute but as my python is uh, 3.8 so instead of 36 i have to write 38 perfect so here let me modify here i'll be pasting the code and here instead of 36 i'll be writing 38 okay perfect and here from i'll be copying this particular code backspace and here okay okay sorry one more mistake i was going to do here obviously we have to write hyphen t dot so that this particular package will be installed in this environment only okay control c and here our control v okay and you just need to press enter and this particular requirement files for our snowflake connector will be installed by this time it is installing let us go to our next one that is this particular one i'll be simply copying and pasting but keeping slash hyphen t dot with it okay right and that's all no need to import boto3 no need to import pandas no need to install our pandas connector okay right so let it install perfect and here see all these packages coming and here last snowflake connector we need to import and i am importing and let me explain the main code now here i will be copying the code the complete code will be provided in the description box or in the comment section no need to worry about a single line of code okay so here i'll be pasting this in main see what is happening first import snowflake connector as sf obviously then here username password account how i have given account see very simple if you are doing first time no issue here from here you just select and up to azure don't no need to give http colon slash slash okay this one is your account you need to give your user id and password very carefully okay then database name ramu i am using ramu database so i am giving ramu name if you if you are using something other give that warehouse compute wh because you can see here in my snowflake i am using compute wh okay up to this i hope it is very easy schema is public role is system admin for my case if you are having some other role please mention that then con equal to sf.connect user password account i am creating the snowflake connection then this particular function what it is doing taking first parameter as connection second parameter as query each time it is creating the correct cursor executing that to that particular cursor and closing that cursor obviously it should happen right and then here this particular piece of code you must have to execute like use to data warehouse okay if suppose your uh, warehouse is auto suspended then you need to uncomment this particular line and also use this alter warehouse uh, resume okay use database use role and then you have to pass via pass all these statements via run query command okay with the connection as the first parameter perfect then here sql query i am using copy into the table which i have created ramu.public.video from at the red symbol to access the stage ramu.public.snow simple is the stage name which we have created and file format is format name equal to my csv format which i have created right and run query this particular function i am invoking and giving the connection as first parameter and sql query that is this query as second parameter so each time i am going to run the code it will take the data from snowflake stage external stage more specifically we can say and load in the video table okay before going ahead just a quick uh, glance that see video is empty and now we are ready to run our code just click on run button and that's all hopefully we will not be getting uh, oh okay sorry sorry here i have not given user password please give user and password otherwise it will not work here i am giving my user and password 
which I am not going to show you. So I have given the username as password for my particular Snowflake account. And now let's hope that without any error, perfectly the code will execute. And we can check all the three different CSV files in the appended format in our video table in Snowflake. Okay, so no error, which is a very good sign. And now see, let's start from video. If we run, let's hope that yes, we are getting the data. I reset to sa. Okay, then I is Farchinika and then here I is Farsicolor and total number of rows are 150, which you know that in Iris data set there are total 150 rows. First 50 are for Setosa, first next 50 are for Farchinika, next 50 are for Farsicolor. This so this particular code is generalized code and you can use for your ETL purpose. Okay, just you need to give your S3 credentials. Okay, where you need to modify complete setup I have shown you just give the bucket name properly snowflake uh, user id password s3 im role user id password that is aws key secret key all these things if you give perfectly then this particular data migration uh, project can be used as a uh, template project and you can use in various places okay complete code will be provided in the description box I hope you have enjoyed this if you want to do the same using pandas and using write pandas does you want to write the uh, pandas data frame data to snowflake uh, table then please check the uh, previous video where i have explained the method okay so starting from installation installing different packages to the complete code i hope the picture is clear to you this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you